good afternoon, good evening, good morning. Now, this is following on from the two videos I previously made that actually have Jeffrey Epstein basically at the centre of them and the awful abuse of young girls in their early teens. This is looking at what's going on in the heavens. Oh heavens, <laughs> what is going on? Okay, now this is a, a, a lovely woman I've only just come across in the last few days called Heather Ensworth and she is talking about Chiron and Chiron is known as the wounded healer and also actually by um, Tani Gabriella has renamed Chiron the sacred healer and Chiron is in evidence in transit in Aries between February 2019 and May 2027 so wow we've got 28 years of an opportunity to do an enormous amount of healing okay here we go I want to talk with you today about another very important transit that is going on right now in February of this year 2019 Chiron moved into the sign of Aries and it will be in that sign until May of 2027. So across the next eight years, we're going to experience the energy of Chiron in Aries. What does this mean for us? I truly believe that Chiron in Aries is calling us all into a time to heal, to heal our sense of self and to heal some of the traits and characteristics of Aries that we carry individually and that we carry collectively. What does this mean? Let's start with Chiron. Chiron is a comet, some people call it a minor planet, that orbits between Saturn and Uranus in the sky. It wasn't discovered until 1977. And Chiron, being in that mid-range between Saturn and Uranus is bridging the energies of those planets. From a deeper spiritual perspective, Saturn is the planet that really holds the energy of our consensual consciousness, how we identify with the culture and the characteristics of the time that we live in. Uranus carries the energy of individuated consciousness. How is it that we set ourselves free from our history, from our culture, from family expectations, from peer pressure, to be true to who we are? Uranus is known as the planet of the revolution. Now, revolution doesn't have to be bad, but it is kicking the traces about what has gone before. Teenagers are in that process of revolution. They're revaluing what they were taught by their parents. Okay, and a country can have a revolution because of a dictator that has been seen and experienced as being um, evil. Or corrupt. So there are many different ways of the revolving, the revolution that, that of this planet Uranus and it's playing out at the moment. Chiron is really that planet that or comet that is symbolic of where we carry core wounds. Wounds that block us from being able to move from that consensual reality into our own truth, to set ourselves free to be who we uniquely are. Where Chiron is in your chart, both by sign and its house placement, 
is telling you where you carry some of those core wounds that may block you or make it hard for you to step into the fullness of who you are. Can you imagine these people that were in uh, satellites, if you like, of Jeffrey Epstein? Let's just take him as an example of Jeffrey Epstein. And that those individuals were not free to be true to their core center. That's really um, what I feel that this wonderful and wise woman is saying, not that she's referring to that, but I am, that when you get these um, uh, terrible and evil actions, Jeffrey Epstein is just one example that's in the news at the moment, those people around them, and it happened with Jimmy Savile in the BBC, many of those BBC directors and people, whether they were directors, but people in high places, knew what was going on and said nothing. And I think when um, Heather Ensworth talks about Chiron, it's like it's been hidden. Our true authentic selves has been hidden from us. And now it is being awakened, that authentic self, I mean. Chiron is the wounded healer. It represents karmic wounds that we may carry into this lifetime from past lives. But whatever those wounds that may have come from past life trauma, they get reenacted in some way early in this lifetime to help bring those wounds, those issues into our consciousness so that we can heal. Exactly. If we have the courage to see them, we can heal them. I'm just going to bring this across, which is my new website. It's very simple. It's, it's not madly professional looking, but it has the information that will help you. Oh, now, just one of those things. It's, ah, oh, maybe I can do it this way. There we are. Try and, the title is Transform Your Life from Stress to Joy, Health and Abundance. Now, I say dare to take the first step on the path of the most exciting journey of your life because what this is doing is it is going into those wounds are you suffering right now from a crisis in your life are you meeting what people refer to a midlife crisis or one of those crises in relationships what I refer to is a tiptoe crisis because they creep up on us. And I go down to explain the process and that all you need is your willing self and the, an A4 notepad or simply an A4 sheet of paper or a big enough sheet of paper. And that you write down on the left hand side of the page the word or expressions or a word that expresses your predominant feeling and you continue to write that those down you might say oh I'm feeling fed up and I'm pissed off and I'm angry and I'm despondent and anyone that comes and then when you've done that you go back and sometimes you don't have time to do it on the same day but go back you must if you want to complete the process and opposite each of those negative words you put for you what is the positive word what is the word from um, I'm fed up I'm or I'm in harmony I'm in joy I'm pissed off okay what's the opposite of that that could be I'm optimistic I'm eager etc and then you make a mantra and you cross over your hands and uh, your wrists and ankles and you say that mantra. 
might be I love life, I love being creative, or it could be I'm always healthy, every cell in my body is healthy and remains healthy, whatever it is, and you say that for a little while and then see how you feel the following day. It's really quite remarkable and the whole thing is based on the vibration of words and language. So you're changing the negative thought form and words which have a low vibration to words that are high vibration and have a positive meaning. So you literally are changing yourself vibrationally. I've got my email address in the bottom of it so do let me know how you get on and also there's a, a link you email if you want the exciting possibilities of going to an amazing event that's coming up and that will really speed up and really help you transform in your thinking because that's what your life is expressing your thinking that's why it's not surprising that um, Epstein, Epstein has actually been found out because he, it's time for him to heal. He, at his core level, cannot go on doing what he's doing. He might think he can, but at his heart level, no, he can't. And nor can any of the other people in the Little Black Book or anywhere else. So, just finally, symbolizes those core wounds but as we work them through and move into healing and move into wholeness Chiron in our chart in our charts also represents our healing gifts God bless everyone I will put these links in the description box and uh, look forward to having your comments. Thank you for those and thank you for listening. This is Katani Alvin saying God bless and stay optimistic. Many wonderful things are happening out of the darkness and the tragedies of life. We truly are awakening. We're going into what is known as ascension but we have to see and leave behind all those wounds, all those traumas and the only way we can leave them behind is by transmuting them, healing them. Thank you to Chiron or thanks to Chiron. God bless. Bye-bye.